Yo, you're Joe, right? Now you've introduced yourself, yeah. so that point is moot. Okay, that's it. It's a moot point. I want to know, I, I want to understand, I saw two things happening tonight. Um, a piece of theater with an attitude, with a philosophy, and a market or an audience who was perceiving something totally different. I think some of the people there did perceive something totally different, but the a lot more people, I think, understand it than misunderstand it. It's just that those who misunderstand it are the ones who have the loudest mouths sometimes. Isn't it kind of funny, eh? Well, it's kind of sad, too. You made a rather definitive statement about the uh, about the Nazi punks, and I'm I'm really wondering, are you? Is it, is it first of all react to the people who came to see you tonight about the proportions of the the folks that you were zeroing in? On? Most of them were neither uh, Nazis, and I don't think there's anything really such as a Nazi punk. So it's contradiction in terms. Punk is anti-establishment and Nazi is dictatorial authority. But I think a lot of them don't really know what it is. They know that a swastika makes their parents mad, and that's the extent of it. And to, to me, Nazism means uh, President Reagan, means being told what to do, means police state. Give, give, me, give, me give me some lines. Give me some lines from from the the tune you introduced it by getting into to, uh, uh, a short dissertation well, the, the, on the, President the, Reagan the, and the, his eyes on Canada. Uh, well, that was a couple different songs. The Nazi punks one, was called Nazi punks fuck off, was uh, these selling swastikas look cool. The real Nazis run your schools. They're coaches, businessmen, and cops. And a real Fourth Reich, you'd be the first to go. Nazi punks fuck off. Nazi punks fuck off. You'll be the first to go unless you think. It's it's. It's a it's a message that the people of the United States are very very much concerned. Uh, Most of them should are be though. concerned with. Americans but, but are, are are brought up from childhood through the school system to be as dumb and gullible as possible. So we try to change that, and get they them off the their asses. Of, of, of the education system. Absolutely, the education system I think is planned on purpose to make people as dumb as possible. An industrial society requires obedient trained dogs. That's why you're discouraged from being creative starting with from the first grade on up. How much of how much of that attitude do you think is do you think is reaching home? Obviously there are people here who and eventually it's sad though it may be, it may sometimes be a case where uh, somebody did, it doesn't occur to somebody unless somebody else tells them to do it and then from that point forward uh, they don't need that anymore how, how easy is it for you to work in the states um, actually it's not that hard now now that uh, certain promoters figure they can make money off the dead Kennedys they figure what the hell will put us on are you making trying to go with people who are uh, who care who are interested in the music and know the music rather than just money grubbing jerks who hire a bunch of beefhead bouncers to beat up the crowd. I'm very glad that didn't happen tonight. That's yeah, there weren't too many of them to... Credit to Jamil and his production company that there weren't a bunch of goons policing the crowd. Wow. That, 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 that sounds like there's a there's story. There's some bad incidents. There are people like Black Flag gets it worse than we do as far as their violence with their gigs and whatnot, but the bouncers start the violence. They goad people into fighting, then they beat the living daylights out of it. They went after people at our gig in L.A. recently with two-by-fours, and the promoter was the guy who uh, started the whole thing. Just incredible. Do you find it easier to... I don't want rock and roll to replace football games as the uh, modern equivalent of... Uh, of uh, gl Roman gladiators, but if there's more of this bouncer crap, then that's going to happen. The next time you come back here, we're going to talk about your uh, your choreography because I think you're quite a dancer too. There is no choreography. I've done acting before, but I've never had any dance training. It might help, actually. No, I, th I think you do really nicely as it is, and I'm sure they'll probably keep it. Believe it or not, I was the worst gymnast in my whole PE class. I don't believe. Oh, I was. Number last. Yeah, I'm not, I'm, not a, I'm not an athlete at all. That's important to know. I ain't some fucking jock. I just, 
uh, do what comes out of me. I think that's true inspiration, really. I think the uh, dead Kennedys are necessary. I'm pleased to have met you. Oh, well, thank you. Uh, I think we're necessary, too, especially in Toronto. Ha, ha, ha. But, no, it was a good gig. It was a good crowd, good hall and everything, so it went really well. Really good. I look forward to seeing you again.